Welcome to Setting Up Aspen for Teleconferencing and Video Conferencing, and this is Part 1. Why do you need an echo counselor? In any echo counseling situation, you're dealing with two remote locations, whether it be across campus or across the ocean. You have the party in room number one, speaks into his local microphone, and that gets sent to the far side via telephone, satellite, fiber optic, who cares? It gets to the other side. This signal then becomes amplified within the system and then gets picked up by this microphone, which promptly then sends the signal back to the other side where it gets amplified within the room. So party A in London speaks, gets picked up in Paris, and it gets fed back to him so he hears himself, in some cases a considerable time later. This is the echo and it can really degrade the quality of audio or video conferencing. So it's very important to get rid of the echo. This is a known as a figure eight feedback loop, by the way, and you can actually get feedback through this if it's not handled properly. Echo cancellation requires two signal mixes. First, you need the incoming signal from the far side. That is any signal coming from the outside, and we call this the reference signal. Only the incoming signal should be included in this mix. That's strictly outside signals coming into the room. The local microphone mix consists only of the microphones that will be picking up that amplified signal from the far side. You don't want any other signals in this mix. Only the microphones that can pick up that signal from the speakers. No multimedia sources, no music, no pre-recorded sources. You want it to be simple. The way an echo counselor works is it takes in the signal that is the reference from the far side. At the same time, it's also monitoring the local microphone mix. Then the processor crunches away at the figures going on internally in the DSP side and subtracts the reference from the local mix and that yields the signal going to the far side. And that's the acoustic echo cancel. AEC, this is the signal you send to the far side of all the local microphones with the echoes pulled out, so to speak. So how do we configure this in Aspen? First, you need two mix buses to construct the echo canceller. One is the reference bus, which carries only the incoming signals from the far side. The second bus is your local microphones. We call that the local mix or signal mix. Two, you need a mix bus for each far side send. If only teleconferencing, you just need one send mix. But if you're doing a telephone and a codec, you'll need two more. So you're going to need a total of two buses for the echo counselor plus one mix for each send, a minimum of three. Every time you add an outside destination, you have to add another to that count. So the typical settings that we advocate on the Aspen series is to keep things nice and discreet is for the echo counselor, use mix bus 48 for your reference mix and mix bus 47 for the local mix. In fact, in our conferencing units, mix bus 48 and 47 are the defaults for reference and local mix. For a send to the telephone, mix bus 46 is what you would send, and then 45 to codec 1 and 44 to codec 2. These are your outgoing signals. It could be any mix buses. You are not trapped in these settings, but this is the default we ship the unit in. These are typical setups, but you can set up whatever uh, standard you would like for your installation. So let's talk about a simple setup. We're going to do it in a trio. There's going to be six microphones, one stereo source, telephone, codec, and the codec and telephone are going to bridge to each other. Here is the standard Aspen control panel. You connect by clicking on connect. In this case, we're tied into a trio via USB, so we'll say connect. We'll click on OK and up comes our trio unit. Double click on the unit and you now have your standard activity page which shows all the inputs and outputs. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the matrix page because all this is about is routing. We have other videos that show you how to set up input gain and so on. What applies in the DM series also applies here but let's just look at the matrix. So we want to set up the mix buses for this particular signal. Now I've already put in some um, standard uh, names, so 
uh, mix bus number one is going to feed the amplifier in the room. Uh, amplifier two is the other channel in the room. So we've got a two zone or two amplifier system. If I click on mix bus 48, you'll see here that we've already set up a reference mix, a local microphone mix, a send to the telco, a send to the codec, and send to codec two. So, if you want to make a change, if you want to put labels in, just simply double click on the label and it will come up. And so you could say uh, a telephone. Now, if you notice, there's a limit. So, we could just say instead telephone send. That's how you put in your labels. So, we have labels for each one of these. I've also put in all the microphones. In our previous thing, we said it was going to be six mics, so we're going to go ahead and change the labels here, and this will be stereo left and stereo right. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our microphones to go to the local mix. This is going to feed the echo canceler. So in this case, we're going to just activate those channels. And if you hold down the shift key, you can grab an entire block and enable the cross points as a group. If you hold down the control key, you can actually pick up random additional blocks, which we're not going to do at this time. Now, the local microphones are only the, the only things that are going to be in the local mix. Okay. So next up, then we have our telephone send and our send to the codec 1 and send to codec 2. Well, in this particular case, we do want the stereo signals to go to the telephone and to the codecs, but you don't put it in the echo cancel mix. You actually put it in the send mix. So we're going to go ahead and activate those cross points as well. Now we're sending stereo to channels left and channels right. All right, that's great. Now let's go to our mix buses one through four. If we want to have local amplification, let's say all the microphones uh, get amplified to these uh, two speaker uh, zones, we can go ahead and select that and enable those cross points as well. And we'll put on stereo left here to the left amplifier and stereo right to the right amplifier. So we've now set up a proper amplification locally. Now we click on conferencing inputs, and this is our telephone lines. Notice our mix buses stay the same. Well, we want the telephone and the codec to be heard in both speakers, so we're going to set them up to go to amplifier 1 and amplifier 2. So the cross points for the telephone and the codec are now amplified in the local th uh, signal. We also have our acoustic echo counselor here. This is the signal that is the result of the reference being subtracted from the local mics. That's the signal we want to send to the far side. So we go back down to mix buses 25 through 48 and we say that we want the AEC to go out to codec 1 and telephone. This is the microphones being sent to the far side. So here we have the acoustic echo cancelled signal being sent to the telephone and the acoustic echo cancelled signal being sent to the codec. Now the telephone might want to hear what the codec is saying this and vice versa. This would be known as bridging. We want to bridge the codec to the telephone and the telephone to the codec. So we take our input for codec 1 and we send it to the telephone. That gives a direct send from the codec to the telephone. It doesn't need to go through the echo canceller. And the same thing for the telephone to the codec. So now we have that signal properly routed. Then we also need to bring in the telephone and the codec into the reference mix. Notice this is empty. We don't have anything here and we don't have anything in the reference mix for the microphones. So let's go back and make sure that we bring the telephone and the codec into the mix. So we enable those. So there we have a properly bridged system. We have the reference mix with only the telephone and the incoming codec. Then in the send to the telephone, we are sending the codec and the microphones. And to the codec, we're sending the telephone and the microphones. And if we go to our microphone inputs, we are only putting the microphones into the local mix. We are sending the stereos uh, to the far side send. And 
we are amplifying the telephone and the codec locally and then we are amplifying the microphones within the room and the stereo left, stereo right. Now, finally, there's a couple of other things you have to do. You want to double check your conferencing. So you go to conferencing and acoustic echo counselor and make sure that your reference, your signal mix is the local mics only and that your reference mix is mix bus number 48. This is the default we ship the units with. If you had picked different mix buses, you would have to change these. You simply do that by clicking the scroll bar, and then you can pick the signals that you want to use. Secondly, you need to go to the output source, and you have to define what signal you want to send out of the different outputs. And we go to the conferencing outputs here, and notice here that we have mix 13 and mix 14. Well, these are really not the signals we want to send. We want to send to the telephone, the send to telco, this te send to telephone send, and here we want to send codec one. And if we were going to send, if we had a second codec hookup, we would pick up codec two, but we would also then have to make sure we route signals to that. So we need to go down here. We can go ahead and select it. There's nothing mixed to that. No signal will occur. It's not connected. But this gives us a correct connections. So let's go through that matrix one more time. First of all, we will start with the matrix. Microphones. Any local amplification will be set up here, as well as your multimedia sources. Then you go to your mix buses and you're going to send the microphones only to the local reference mix. Your stereo sources, your pre-recorded materials, can go direct to the sends to the far side. Reference mix has nothing here because that's only incoming signals. Then if we click on our conferencing inputs, we have our incoming from the far side going to the reference mix. Codec is going straight to the telephone send. Telephone is going straight to the codec send. And the acoustic echo canceled signal this is the signal that is the local microphones without the echo is being sent to both sides. Then you go to your output source. You make sure that you're sending the correct mix to the outputs. And finally, you go to your conferencing units and you make sure by clicking on acoustic echo counselor that you have the correct buses there. And that's it.